Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial, video tutorial. So in, now we're going to, to introduce you to Onshape. So if you already created your, your account, you can log in and you're going to have a window like this. Probably yours will be clean because you don't have any document here. I have many documents, but it's very intuitive now to see what is happening here. Okay, so you can create new documents here. In this space, you can right click to create, To for instance, you have a folder here, right click, and you can do some operation with that folder. If you have files there, you can right click, move, change the labels. Okay, so here you can create new folders and document. You can also search the public li public library. So I think it's you search search for open phone. It's going to search all the documents that are public. And I think I have many documents that I share that I put in the name. I, I, I put the word open phone, as you see here, open phone, open phone. Okay, so you're going to see some documents there. Okay, so it's up to you, okay. But let's go to my own shape, the starting point. So important here that you have help here. So press the help, okay, and you are going to get a lot of information. Also, you have the learning center. Okay, so I remind you to visit this learning center. I, I have it really open here, and there are many videos here now to learn how to use uh, open uh, on shape. Okay, the videos, most of them are free, some of them you need to pay, but most of them are free, very good videos. Okay, so the other important thing is you go here into your name here, you can, um, you go into my account, you can do some minimal configuration of your profile. So the important thing here that I want to configure is preferences. And here you can choose the language, okay, different language, also the units, different units here. So in my case, I'm going to work in meters. And here all your also your mouse, your configuration. So in this case, I'm using on check default, you can change it. Okay, and so on. So this is the important thing, set up your, your units, okay. And you click here, you go back to the starting point, no, your own shape view. So let's say for instance, I want to create a new document. You click press create document. So see that also you can import files. So document, I will call it test one. Okay. So it will go here. It will enter into your your window and this is your working environment, okay? So if you have used any CAD software, it's exactly the same for those who are new, new to this and just give, let me give you a brief explanation. So here you have your canvas, okay? So in this canvas where you're going to, to create the, the sketches on the, on the solid model. So in my case, I use right click to rotate, middle button to, to translate and the wheel zoom in, zoom out. And the left button is to select. Okay, so you can select, see that becomes orange, spacebar, you deselect. Okay, so spacebar to deselect. Also, you can click here in the white region of your canvas and you deselect. Here, you can just change the orientation. Okay, it's up to you to choose an orientation. Here, you have also some other options. Okay, you can, very intuitive now to know what is happening there. Uh, here, you have some options that I'm not going to command. So go to the learning says learning center to learn more about this okay so for us this is not important this is a little bit more advanced here you have options to measure okay and um, display properties of the solid here you have the fe features so see that you have a starting feature so remember that you need to create a sketches so these are the starting points so you choose a plane here you create the sketch and then you start to use some, some other operations to create the solids and then you can start to create new 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 super planes to do these sketches. But this is your starting plane. Here you are going to, to have all the parametric operations and here the parts. You also can create new documents here. Create Paris Studio, okay. You have the option here. So you're, you, you are going to have different tabs here. So here I have my first tab. And as you see, there is no save button. Everything is safe automatically and you have infinite undo, okay. So you click here. Also, you can change the properties of the document. So this is the local property. So if by any reason you want to have this document in different units, here you can change this specific work, workspace. 
So here also you have versions of history. I'm not going to talk about that, but as I say, you have infinite undo. So you're going to get the whole history here, but also different versions. You can create different versions of a, of a document and then you can compare. Very useful, but I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, so you can also add comments and interact with some people here when you share the document. See here that you have the share button. So you can share the button with somebody here. So you add the email. So see, I have a few users there. And you can give access just to edit or only view, okay? And then when you give access to another people to edit, you can work in the same document uh, live, real time, okay? Very powerful uh, <clears throat> capability. So now let's create a simple geometry, okay? So let's say that I want to create a cylinder, okay? So remember, you need to start from a sketch and then you use these features to create the solid model. So my first step is to choose a working plane of the start, uh, starting ones. Then you can create new planes and sketch in that new plane. But let's say of these starting planes, I want to sketch here in the top one. You press N, normal to screen, and I want to sketch in this one because I like this reference system, X, Y, but it's up to you. So you select it, you press now a sketch, and see that now you are sketching. So let's create a sketch here. Okay, so let's say that I say I want to create a cylinder. Okay, you have different options here and here. So I want to create a circle here. And see that I'm not giving any dimensions or location, okay? In reference with zero, zero, zero. So see that you, I created the circle, and now you can add dimensions here. Okay, you have the dimension tool, select that tool, click there and say that, okay, I want to give dimension zero, 01. So see that the color is blue. Blue means that it's not fully constrained, okay? When the, this is fully constrained, it will become everything black. So the fact that it's blue doesn't mean that it's wrong, but it's just telling you that, look at that, you can still add some dimensions to have something fully parametrical, fully constrained. So, for instance, I can do like this. I can add a constraint. I can say that this point, the center, is coinciding with the origin. And see that now it's blue, and you have it there, okay? So if, let's say, let me do undo and go here. The other way if I can add dimensions like this. You add this at horizontal dimension, and let me add another horizontal dimension, vertical dimension there. 0 0.05 here. And see so that becomes black. Okay, so if I erase this one, it's blue. If you add that one, it becomes black. Meaning that it's fully constrained. Okay, but the fact that it's blue doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just, look at that, you can add another constraint. So see that you have this circle there. You press the green check mark and now you go back here to 3D design, okay, the features. And now we can create the solid. So the first tool that I'm going to show you is this one, extrude. Then I'm going to show you resolve, revolve, and then I'm going to show you this one, sweep and love. That probably is the most powerful one, but you have to be careful because it can be tricky to use. There are many other tools that it's very intuitive to know what they are doing, but also remember, always remember that you have the help there. So let's say that, let me create an extrusion of this face. See that you select, it becomes orange. And see that now you can just push in or push out to have your solid. Okay, so let me have it like this. Or you can also directly give dimensions here. You can say that I want it symmetrical about your sketch, okay? So it's up to you, okay? You have many options here. Also, see, pay attention that also you have the option to create solids or surfaces. So you create, if you select the edge, it will create a surface like this. We want to create solids, so be careful that sometimes it's useful to create surfaces, but for us, it's important to create solids, okay? So always select their solids. And these actions here are Boolean operations. So later I'm going to show you what is happening there. So I see that I will create this solid and this is my cylinder, okay? I put it there. As you go back to the geometry and as you change something here, automatically everything will be updated. So see that I will change that dimension. 
And there you have it. So this is the power of parametrical CAD, CAD software, okay? Everything is updated on the fly. So let's say at this point that you have your solid there. You can measure here. So for instance, let's say that you want to make, we know that this distance is 0.2. But sometimes you know that. So you can measure between different entities. So see here that you have this tool, the measure tool. So let's measure between here and here. So see that you select the face, it's, tell, it's telling you the area. But if you select the other face, it's telling you this, giving you all this value. So the minimum distance and access and everything, okay? So you press a space bar to see select and you can select, for instance, just the line and it's telling you the diameter and the length, okay? Or you can select the whole part, okay? And then you go here into properties and it's going to give you the volume here. It, can, it will also give you the center of mass, but you need to add a material. So for instance, to add a material, you select the part, assign material, and just assign here a constant material, just a dummy material, just put a dummy density there, put one. And as you go back here, see that now you have there the position of the center of mass and also the inertia according now to the material that you assign. So as you see, press the space bar, this is like very easy, okay? So let's say that you want to do another sketch, but you want to use, you don't want to use the starting planes, you want to use another plane. So what you can do is you can create a sketch in a phase that already exists. So see that you can click in this phase, sketch, and create your sketch here. So now let's say that normal to screen, and let me create a new sketch here, and let me do this. Okay, so I created that rectangle there let me give dimensions okay so let me say that this is 0 0.04 and uh, let me say that this is 0 0.03 okay and let's say that i want this to be okay let me give in reference to this i want it to be 0 0.035 okay and this one also I cannot do any, anything there, it's fully constraining now. It's not possible to change this one. Okay, I actually I can erase this dimension. You select, del, I will do it, okay. So you have a fully constrained, okay, and see that now you select and you are going to split that face into two faces, okay. You can select that one or you can select this one. So this is imprinting you are doing. That is cache is imprinting that face. You want to deselect imprinting, you can click there. Okay, it's up to you. I like to enable this imprinting. So you are happy with this. And see that you can select there, extrusion, and for instance, this is the Boolean. I can create, select, remove. Okay, this is the face and see that it's removing materials. You move it and you create in the hole. Or you can say you have different action, arc to face. So the face is this one. And it will remove it up to that face. Okay, let me go back to this. Okay, so you edit. And let's say that I don't want to, I don't want to remove, I want to create a new part. So new part and just pull there. So let's say blind and let me put in this direction. Okay. And let's say that I'm happy. See that you have a new part. Okay. So as you see here, these are the Boolean. So you can create the Boolean when you are adding now this new part or you can add an external Boolean. Okay. So you have it here, the Boolean operator or the Boolean tool. Select and select and you have a union. You have the Boolean also, for instance, you want to split the body, you have there a split. So you have to split and I want to split with this face up. 
split with this face and see that it's split into two bodies okay so i'm just showing you the the tools that i use most of the time let me delete delete the, that so this is this is it so again you go back here okay now uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. here and let me select the part and you can get your property center of mass and so on okay also you can measure for instance you click the line it's going to show you there or you can open the measuring tool it's up to you okay let's say let me measure the distance between this vertex and this one see that it's giving you that and as you open this showing you minimum distance and x y and z components okay uh, also you can change for instance transparencies you go here right click see that you can rename properties appearance so let me change the transparencies you want to change the color you can do it also okay so this is a basic solid model that we created here okay and using this it's true so now let's use the other command okay so i will use revolve okay so let's create a new document here create par so let me go here this one i, I call it extrude this one let me call it revolve okay again you choose a plane so i want to sketch in this plane and let's say that i want to create an sphere and this might, might, might seem appear funny, but creating an sphere is not straightforward. There is no primitive to create an sphere, okay? So here you need to create, and now you can guess an idea of what I'm doing. You are creating a section of the, of the sphere, and then you are going to revolve around an axis, okay? So let, let me create that. So I will center everything here in the origin, but remember that you can put it anywhere we want, you want, and then you can create now the constraints. You can add the constraints. So you create this. This will be the section. Okay, I'm not going to add dim dimensions okay, in this case. Now, let's say that let me wake up this inference. This inference. So look at that, and you wake it up by hovering over, and then see that you have the orange line there. So if I wake up that one now, I know that it will be coincident here. So you click, and you click. So you have this line there. And now I can do, I can trim. So you have here a few options. Select trim the scissors, erase that, and you can get an idea what we're going to do. You are going to rotate this section around this axis. So now that we're happy, revolve, face, around, select here, axis, and there you go. So it's not a straightforward, it's quite funny. Now that we have this, also you have different options. So this was a full revolve, but also you can use revolve in one direction. So see that there you have a wedge. Okay, and with an angle of 30 degrees, you can do it in two directions. Symmetric, it's up to you, okay? So symmetric, different two directions will be asymmetric. And that's all. You go here, and then you have your section of the sphere, or you can have the full sphere. So, for instance, if you want to sketch in this face, select this face, and then sketch anything there. So, let me sketch normal to screen, and let me sketch here. Yep, let me go here. And now, let me add here a distance. So, from here to here, I want to have. 0 0.04 okay just and then also let me add diameter let's see if it takes this diameter okay you have it there and see that you have this it was an imprint so now let me select this and you can do whatever you want so see that you can combine different operations so now let me do an extrusion okay so an extrusion is the one you can remove materials or add material, it's up to you. And you have it there. Okay, 
And again, you can select this face and sketch in this face, or you can create a support plane. Okay, this is very, very helpful because by default you have three, these three support planes, but many times you are going to need a new support plane. So to create a support plane is here. Plane tool, you can select the face, and you can say offset, you have different options, okay, here. Later we're going to see some of these options, but let me put offset, and as you put offset zero, it's coinciding with that face, okay, equivalent to clicking in the face and sketching, or you can give a distance. So now you have this new plane, and you can sketch there. So you go there, and you can do whatever you want there. So let's say that, let me go here, very important tool, this one, project, use, so basically, if I select here, I'm going to project this sketch into my current plane. So you can use it as a visual reference to give dimensions, okay? So that's why it's important. So I would say that I want to create, I don't know, an ellipse. You select this center, so see that, that's why I wanted to have that center as a reference. And this is, okay, so I will do this. And see that, you have you will have the imprint also so you have that or this so it's the one you can erase i don't want that delete oh no you need to delete that in, in the sketch so it doesn't matter so i will select this one and i will do an extrusion and i will do up to face what face ah this face and I want to remove material. So let's see if it works. Merge scope with everything. Okay. So bum bum bum. So it didn't it didn't work. Okay. So but let's do it in this way. So let this one. I want to remove material and I want blind and simply let me go like this. Merge is code, so merge with everything. Well, merge with all, you put it there. And you have it there. You create your hole. And that's it. Again, you can measure. Okay, so you have the measure tool. So you can go from here, let's say from that phase to this. And it will give you that distance. You can go here, edit appearance, and change the appearance. Okay, so this was the revolve tool. As you see, you can mix this tool with no problem, okay? So now let's move to the next one, okay? So we're going to see the most important tools that are Strut, Revolve, Sweep, and Love, which is the most powerful one, tricky to use. So let me create a new document. And let's see, Sweet, you have it there. So as you hover, it will give you some basic help. Also remember that you have the help here and you can go to the help and see what it's doing here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How to use the tool. So you go there, you search, Sweep. And see here that it will give you also this some basic instruction and video how to stuff. use it. Okay, so very helpful for the help. So I always, invite you to, to use the help. Okay, so let me choose this plane. So the suite consists that you are going to choose a path and then a profile that is attached to that, that path, okay? So first I will create a path, okay? So let me do like this, so on arbitrary spline. Okay, it can be also on a straight line. There is no problem. So this is my path. And now you can at attach a profile to this line that is going to follow this. But what is important that see that now I have this arbitrary spline, but see that I don't have planes where to do that sketch. So this is where it comes important, this support plane. So you use this tool here, plane, you can create a new support plane, but there are many options. In this case, we can use curve point. So what you do is select curve point and the entities, the line and the point. And see that now you have here a plane attached to this line that is normal. Press there and now you can sketch here. 
So you select this plane, normal to screen, and let's do a sketch here. So I want to create, let's say, a circle or whatever there, attach there, and that's all. So basically this now is going to follow this spline. So as you go now here, you can go face this one, so path there, and that's all. So you can keep profile. So see that you have this option, so you will see the difference. So usually you want to disable that option. You also can add the Boolean there and you can mix this tool with some other tools. Okay, so there is no limitation. And there you go. Okay, very powerful tool. We, 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 we use this tool a lot. Again, you can measure, you can add the, the properties there, you can look at the properties there. So this tool can be also, you can do very complex operations. So here, again, I, I, invite, I invite you to the help and see all the options, how to use it, possible outcomes and what you can do, okay? The next tool that we're going to use, so so far we have used extrude, okay? So here you have all the steps, how to use it. Now we're going to use love. Okay, these are the most important ones. Remember that there are many tools you can visit here to see how to use all, all those tools, okay? So the love tool is the most advanced one, okay? So it is equivalent. This video shows how to use the equivalent to, to do to, to, to sweep, let me mute here. It's equivalent to sweep, but now with this one, you can use intermediate profiles. With the sweep tool, is a single profile. Here, see that you have intermediate profiles and you can do this sweep there, okay? So let's see how to use this, okay? So again, let me create a new document. Okay, and let's, okay, let me rename this one, by the way. One, and go here, and this one, love. So this tool is very complex. So I invite you to go here to the help and see all the options. So I will show you the basic, the most basic options, but it's very complex, okay? You can create very organic shapes here. So let's say that I want to create three profiles. So you need to have three planes. So we have the, this starting plane, but let me create a new one. So I want to do offset and let me put it at 0.1. Okay, and let me create another offset of, of, of that plane. And again, at 0 0.1. So in each plane, I'm going to have a different sketch and I'm going to do the love. So let me select the first one. Normal to screen. And let me do, for instance, a circle here. Okay, let me add. So I'll see that I'm attaching the circle to the origin, but it's the one you can put it anywhere. Uh, probably was it is too large. Let me go 0 0.4. Okay, this is about right. You have it there. So I'm happy. Another sketch here. So this one, normal to screen. Again, let me attach it to the origin so that the origin is global. And let me go here and let me say that I want this one 0 0.6, okay? To see that I'm going to do an extrusion from here to here, different profiles. The sweep, it will use a single profile. The love, use different profiles and you can use a path and guidelines there. Later we're going to see what are those guidelines. And let me go here, the last one normal to screen and let's say that i want to project this here okay so see that i projected that one because i want to use it as a reference to create something new okay just to show you that it's very important this is very powerful the projection and let's say that i want to create an elite okay and i want to make it let's say like this see that it's horizontal and i give this one there so let's say that I want a tangent. So see that you have tangent constraint. This with this. Okay, it doesn't make it a tangent. Okay, so we're over constraining, okay? 
So I will need to erase some constraints. Okay. Okay, let me erase this constraint. Let me see if that is the problem. Okay, tangent, tangent, tangent. Okay, then and then. Okay, he did it the, the all the other way around. Uh, I want it like this and like this. Uh, tangent. Okay, it's doing it the other way around. I don't want it in that way. So doesn't matter. But you see the also the the order of how you choose the operation. It is important. But let's say let's say that let me pierce. So pierce means this one. It would pierce. I would pierce this one to this curve. Okay, it's not attaching. Okay, but let me give dimensions. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, you set it there. 0 0.02. So minor and major axis. 0 0.08. Okay. For some reason the tangent didn't work, but you can get you know the dimensions of the other one, so it's not a problem. Or maybe, yeah, I think I can make it work. Let me do something. Let me convert this circle to a construction geometry, okay? So see that it's a construction geometry. Let me raise this dimension and let me say here that I want, so I think, okay, tangent here. So this one, okay, you see that. We, so we solve the problem, okay? So it needs to be construction. So see that sometimes it's very important to have it as a construction geometry. Okay, so and if you want to check here, you can just click there and this is in gray means that it's driven by a constraint, okay? You cannot modify this, okay? But just to check that that was the right dimension. So see that what we are going to do here now is use this profile okay to create a solid okay different profiles is going to do a sweet linear okay also the interpolation from different shapes is linear okay then i'm going to show you how we can control that and also you can add a path to follow in this case this is straight so let's go and select here see that you need to select the profiles the order is important next to be sequential order one two three you cannot go from one to three and then this one so put in the right order and see that this is the love very powerful tool is doing a linear interpolation automatically okay it's, it's constructing the shape but you can also control that so if you select here this is your final solid and there you go Okay, but also you can control the shape, okay, using guidelines. So you can add a path similar to the one in, in sweat, but the important one is this, guide and continuity, okay? So let's add those, okay, just to show you how to add. So let me raise this and see that we have these three shapes. So I will do it just with these two, okay? but then you can extend it to the other ones in a similar way. So what I'm going to do is add a guideline here to control the transition of this shape, okay? So now I don't want on shape to do it automatically, I want to control that. So to do that, you need to create that, that curve that it needs to be at, attached to the to profile, very important. It needs to be attached. Therefore, you need a working plane that pass through all these profile so i know that the, this plane passed through those profiles so you enter there and let's project very important you need to project the two curve okay you have it there and also let's okay let me do undo because i think i did it twice there okay now this is okay and let's make it construction okay so construction and construction okay both of them are construction construction lines. Or give a minute, and uh, I think I did it twice again. Okay, project this one, escape. I'm not using it anymore, and now convert it to construction and construction. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, those are construction lines. And now I want to add here a shape that is going to follow. So let's say that I'm going to put here an arbitrary spline. Remember, it needs to be attached. So that's why I project it. No. I put it there and let me put something else here. So it's not symmetrical, but we can control symmetry as well. I will show you later how to do. So you create those and now you go here in loft, see profiles and let me guys and continuity select this see that following that and now you're following this and off you go and now if you want to add another love you select here to here and you can do the same okay you can add a guideline to control there so Let's say that we want to do this, but we want symmetry. So it's relatively easy, okay? So just to show you also the other way to add symmetry. So we have this spline, but it's quite difficult not to make it this symmetrical manually, but we have the option to do it. Okay, so let me raise that one and let me go here. Connect symmetrically around the middle axis. I will make it a construction axis, okay? Very important. And now here see that you have the option mirror and you follow. Okay, let me go again. Mirror and tell, tell, it's telling you mirror line entity and voila, symmetrical. And here let's select the new guidelines. Okay, so let me deselect there and select this and this. And off you go. Okay, you have it here. So look at what, what, what I did here. Okay, this is very powerful. This tool has many options and that's why I recommend you just to, to go through these options, okay? Because it can be really tricky. Okay, so you'll see this example here. But I show you the basic option, but something that is important that sometimes it might be easier to use another tool. So see that in this case, this is a solid of revolution. So maybe it might have been easier of, instead of using that, doing that, doing a solid of revolution you have this section and revolve around this okay so let me go here and i can add a section view i want to use this plane and see that probably will have been easier a section okay okay and actually the sections it change okay so well actually a section wouldn't have <laughs> wouldn't have done what we just did, but see that for instance, your goal is to have something like this, probably see if you're a, a section, a, a solid of revolution, okay? But in this case, see that we have different profiles, you rotate, let me go here, button, you can rotate, da, 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 da. Yeah, profile change, okay? So if you want to force the revolution using love, you will need to add also here another guideline to do it. Okay, so that's all, okay? So we, sh we study the most important tools. As you see, you can create a very complicated shape. Then remember, you have some different tools here that go to the hell to know how to use it. So one that might become useful is this one, feel it. So feel it, you apply to an edge. So you go there and basically that is a fillet and then just go here and if you want to modify it just okay so everything is fully parametrical okay so after you have your solid everything that's all remember you can go here export and you export this as an stl now when we go to the meshing part we're going to to use stl so stl text format means and means in ascii and that's all and units leave it in meters and that's all. So you want to go back, okay, okay, to the starting point, press on, on shape, and here you are. Okay, so you can click again here and you enter your document again. So just click there and you are entering. So that's all for this basic instruction, uh, introduction to open, uh, to on shape. 
we have two other videos that we're going to create one internal one external geometry and then we're going to match those two okay so that's all thank you very much for your attention see you next videos bye